I, I thought I would share with you, we're recycling the windows out of the side of the bus, the up and down slidey windows, and they're laminated safety glass. So there could be some confusion there for people because in automobiles there's tempered glass and there's laminated safety glass typically, but now there's even hybrid laminated tempered glass. But this bus is 10 years old? 2004. 15, 15 years, old. years old. Anyways, this is laminated safety glass. And you can cut it and recycle it. So what I'm doing is laying out uh, where I want to cut it on here. I need to cut the corners off of this so that it fits where I want it. So I'm just using a Sharpie. But here's one of the tips I want to share. When you when you get if you got any extra glass, then make sample cuts on it. Right? So do sample cuts so that you can see how it works before you go to your finished piece of glass. And see that was a pretty good cut and it makes a certain sound. If you cut too hard. See how that one, is, it looks, uh, white stuff's popping out of it. So that's cut too deep and they'll get whiter and whiter. And what that does is it gives the, uh, the glass a place to turn and break in the wrong area. So that's called, we called that frying when the, it's called a fried cut. You pushed too hard. Conversely, if you don't push hard enough, Then you'll get one that looks like that, and it'll break here, but then it'll turn right or left there because you didn't push hard enough. So it's getting the right pressure on it that makes it work really easily. And if you lubricate it, like this is just some cutting fluid from the drill press. And also, another very important thing, don't go back, if you do it too light, no matter what you do, if you choose to recut it, you'll ruin your cutter. Because when you go back, you're into that broken up area, it screws up the cutting edge on your cutter. So you, we never would run over the same cut twice. So if you have to go back in there and try to fill in, there's a huge likelihood it ain't gonna work out for you. So let me flip over here. Now, one thing that will help you is pretty much any kind of oil. Like this is just cutting fluid, but we used to mix uh, motor oil and paint thinner to have it a little thinner and we would just brush it on where we were gonna cut. So if you lube your cutter, and then if you put this on here and don't press, but run it where you're gonna cut, you've put a trail of oil there for the cut. This helps keep you from frying. So then you can get a nice, a nice cut like that. After you're done, you can, that's too close to the edge. So that's where they use these non jawed pliers and they can come in and grab and you can run that cut. But the best solution to that is, okay, so you can see, I just, I ran that cut on one side. And if you turn it over and allow for the offset where your wheel is, the more accurately you can cut, you have to cut both sides, of course. So the more accurately you line them up, the easier it is to get it off. So here goes the cut. That one I went a little heavy. You can tell by the sound of it. You can see it coming across. Okay. So now this is laminated safety glass and it is broken on both sides, but it won't come apart. In a glass shop, we would just squirt that with alcohol and light it on fire. And all that does is warm it up so that the vinyl in between gets soft and stretchy and it allows you to open it up. You can do the same thing with the heat gun, but you just, you gotta be smart. Don't put it in one place and just heat one place. You'll cause it to break. But you spread it out. Probably, let's see. 
See how I can stretch that? Wow. See how that's opening up now? Mm -hmm. Because the vinyl's warm. So, there. Wow. See, just by getting it warm. So, now you can see the two layers. But what's really cool, if you look at it edgewise, you realize that the glass is actually clear and the vinyl layer in between is what's colored. That's how we're cutting all of the corners off. If you're having troubles and you don't know what kind you have, try reading the label. There you go. In automobiles, every piece of glass, it has this mark on it somewhere to tell you what it is. So if you read that, it says laminated right on it. That's a good clue that it's laminated. <laughs> So we've got that all cut to the shape that we want. But here's another thing that might help you, help you some is glass, it's five times stronger on its surface than it is on its edge. The edge is the weak spot. So if you're gonna break a piece of glass, it's usually from hitting it. So if you hit the edge, it's the weak, it's a weak area. But if you take the sharp off the edge, you strengthen that up and make it less vulnerable. Okay, so the other thing you can do to help your glass out a little bit is take the sharp off the edges. And you should probably wear a respirator because glass dust is really bad for you. But um, I'm just using 150 grit aluminum oxide paper on the, this thing. And if you go gently, you can't stay in one spot on these points and when they get, when they get red, they'll crack. But you can do it gently. That's what they would call a dry seam in the glass business. And uh, these windows, when I took them out, they were already dry seam, so they took in the sharp off the edges. But if you stay too long on one of those points and push too hard, it'll get hot and it'll crack the glass. But anyway, so now this will be much more durable when we install it. And that's ready to go in. That baby's gonna fit right there okay guys thanks for watching this I hope it's helpful in some way it's not really a how-to video I'm just wanted to share some tips with you on how to identify the laminated glass and some simple ways to cut it it's not how they do it in the glass shop but if you're in an area where you have what I have that's available then this will work for you I hope try it on a scrap thanks for watching we love you guys